doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> That'll be the end of uh, selling Mary with it, hey? No. No. Not even a bummy could end up. <laughs> pick up some more coconuts uh, for my dear captain and um, yeah for me too it's great living off the land um, which I love to do and now I'm just stressed so I'm gonna stop vlogging and uh, help him good morning captain good morning did you get some nice coconuts this morning I got some great coconuts uh -huh. very happy chappy good you ready to get going ready to get going All right. do you want me on the bow I would love you on the bow uh, I'll stop filming Instead of yelling at each other while picking up the anchor, we use hand signals to communicate. This one is steer to starboard. Stop. This is rev engines to give power to the windlass. And finally, shackers for anchor up. Moving through the atoll, coral heads are a constant hazard that we have to be cautious of. but we tend to get a little bit hungry at 10 or 11 before lunch so I'll show you what I'm making sorry it doesn't look too appetizing I just put in bananas and soy milk and I'm gonna put in some chia seeds and this is a uh, green blend it's kale, spirulina um, and a bunch of other greens in there and some organic oats I'm not go good with going off the recipe, so um, I usually just do it, put in how much I place at the time. But this is a good way to get in our, our greens and our nutrition. Um, sometimes when we're sailing a lot, especially to remote places like this, we're not getting all the greens that we need. So stuff like this is essential to, to us. blend it. It's my great wish in life to get a uh, proper blender. Um, when we have more power then I'm gonna get a proper one. So, But for now this little trusty mate is uh, doing the tr trick just fine. Voila. 
doesn't look so yummy, but it does the trick. Cheers, guys. These ones we're trying to avoid. Do not want to hit those ones. That'll be the end of uh, selling your Mayweather, hey? No. No. Not even a bomb could end up. <laughs> Now that that squall has gone, uh, it is beautiful sailing out here. Uh, we've got the wind coming straight off the reef, and uh, it means that there's no waves. All the waves are broken up by the island and the reef. It's stunning. And uh, Isabel, Isabel still got her rain jacket on, and I must say, I've never seen somebody wear a rain jacket quite nicely like Isabel has. Baby, take it off. Take it off, oh, take it off, damn! I was just saying to the camera that uh, nobody quite wears a rain jacket like you, darling. Pop quiz, Isabel. Where does all the sand come from that lies around the reefs? Well, right now I'm holding, is it 90% poop? From parrotfish? <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. Really fine sand that, that is found around reefs comes from parrotfish poop mm. or feces. Just lovely, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's so pretty though, isn't it? The prettiest poop you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I better we get back to steering. doesn't get much better than this. Deep water, palm trees, white sand. No waves. No waves. Zero waves. A few bobbies to be seen, but uh, that's alright. Wind it in. Get it, baby. a uh, pearl farm. It's what the atoll which we're on is called Raroya and the pearl farm is one of the big things here. Uh, they, apparently they fly in, I think it's Japanese specialists to install the pearls. The pearls grow over time and uh, this is meant to be the whole operation. Interesting. Pearls behind, baby. They're quite beautiful. So these, this is where they grow. Yeah. Inside these clamps. So you see, some of them are together. Like these. So I guess they put a string th through them. Ah. 
Very interesting. Hmm. I got my pearl right here. <laughs> How long you've been waiting to say that? <laughs> What have you found, baby? Ooh. So I guess these are the black ones and then these are normally white. This is my guess. I'm no pearl expert. This morning we are going to the pearl farm again. We went yesterday, but there was nobody home. Uh, they finally did arrive as we were leaving and they said, come back tomorrow at 7 a.m. We'll be opening up a pearl so you can see it and how, see exactly how it looks inside. Isabel. So <laughs> we're gonna try our little backhand sneaky deal, see if we can get one. <laughs> I'm also excited because there are kittens there and then I can put them again. Kittens are a big draw card if you want. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really exciting to see how they do it. Um, I was a bit disappointed yesterday, I'm just going to add that um, they, they actually put um, plastic in the shells to make the pearls. That was, uh, that was a bit disappointing for me. A bit unnatural. Um, yeah, but we're going to hear it from, from them today, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, between the language barriers and see how it'll, uh, it's done. Beautiful. Let's do it. Do it. Alright, so we talked to the lady here now and she explained that because of COVID there are only four workers here. Normally there are a lot of people and this whole place is full. Um, and also because of COVID they don't pick up the pearls, they only do the clams or that for, for buttons. So the shell of the clams yeah. is really beautiful on the inside mm -hmm. and they cut up the inside to make buttons. Yeah. 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 So two guys are coming soon with uh, fresh shells. And yeah, we're gonna Hope. film that process. And they're gonna they're gonna have some some pearls in them, but yeah. No, they don't no. do pearls. Oh, no, okay, not at all. So the owner is Chinese, and when COVID hit, he just said stop with all everything with the pearl farming. Gotcha. And so they just do the the buttons. Beautiful. We'll see some buttons. <laughs> Black Tahitian pearls were first grown around the 1960s. By the 80s and 90s, when the pearls were still considered very rare, the value of these small gems was astronomical. But over time, more and more pearl farms produced more and more pearls, eventually devaluing this once rare black gold. The basic idea of pearl farming is a small part of a shell from a clam or oyster gets implanted into a clam. This process is called grafting and is usually done by a specialist from Japan. What is the pearl? <laughs> you can eat, oh, you can eat that one. Yeah. Yeah. Unable to fly the Japanese grafters out because of the virus, no pearls were being produced at this farm. We did get a taste of the edible part of the clam bun. Delicious. Merci beaucoup. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> mm? What does it taste like? Good. Yeah? Yeah, good. 
It's like a scallop, I think. Yeah. Yeah? Very similar, yeah. Hey guys! Hi, how are you going? Welcome back to the segment where we shout out our new patrons. Ooh, favorite segment. Favorite segment action. Um, today we'll just jump straight into it. Basically, this is where we want to shout out all the new people that have just subscribed, pledged a little bit of cash each video, and we want to shout them out right now. So, without further ado, um, Phil S, thank you for signing up. Chris, Marcos L. Craig S, and we got a new guy named Gary C. Uh, you might remember on our crossing we had a bird named Gary. It's not him. It's not him, but it's uh, we've had we've been talking to Gary. So we've had a few jokes. It's yeah. quite good. Yeah. Babe, you. Yes. Uh, Richard R S. Thank you. Elliot Y. Klaus A. Benny R P. And Stan M. Guys, we can't express how much we are so thankful and grateful that you guys have signed up and been part of the crew. Part of the crew, yes. Um, we, we're in contact with all of you, um, as you know. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, stay tuned next week. Yes, thank you guys. You mean the world to us. Cheers, legends.